Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing a recipe for Guyanese pepper pot. I figured since the holidays are right around the corner, let me just go ahead and get these recipes out ASAP. Now pepper pot is like a staple in a Guyanese home at Christmas time. Like if you don't have your pepper pot and your freshly baked homemade bread, then it is not a Guyanese Christmas. So to begin, we will start by marinating our meat first. And here I have some cow heel or cow foot. I will be using some oxtail and regular beef. You could also use goat meat or lamb. I also have here some fresh green seasoning, some meat seasoning, complete seasoning. I have seasoned salt, black pepper, ground clove, and ground cinnamon. So the first thing you want to do is combine all of your seasonings. That will make it easier to distribute onto the meat. Once we're done combining everything, we will then start applying the seasonings to the meat. I will leave the link to my green seasoning down in the description box so you guys can see how it's made and what I have in there. So while I was adding the seasonings to my beef, I thought I hit record, but I didn't, so I didn't get to show the part where I was adding it. But I added most of the seasonings in the beef because the beef is more than the cow foot. And I did save the rest, and I added it to my cow foot. I mix well, and that's it. Then we will place this inside of a Ziploc bag and sit in our refrigerator overnight. So fast forward to the next day, I did take my meat out of the fridge so that it could come up to room temperature. You never want to cook cold meat. And here are the other half of my ingredients. I have the star of the show here, some cas rib. This is made with yucca or cassava. And I have some thyme, some habanero peppers. We usually use Riri peppers, but we don't get that here. So I'm using what I have. I have some cloves cinnamon stick uh, I'll be using chicken bouillon seasoned salt complete seasoning uh, Some black pepper and some brown sugar Okay, just a quick tip for people that are not Guyanese and you may see pepper pot and you want to try it you need five main ingredients. Besides your meat, you need five main ingredients. And that is casrip. You cannot make pepper pot without casrip. Brown sauce wouldn't work. Soy sauce wouldn't work. You need casrip. You also need thyme. And you need hot peppers. Even if it's just a pinch. I know everybody don't eat spicy food. But even if it's just a pinch, it's called pepper pot for a reason. You need that little kick. You also need some cloves and your cinnamon sticks. Those are the five main ingredients to make pepper pot. Everything else is just additional ingredients that people add by choice or preference. Like me, I prefer to add seasoned salt. I prefer to add bouillon powder brown sugar, some black pepper, and some complete seasoning because I don't use salt in my recipe. So those seasonings there act as a salt agent. So to begin this recipe, we'll start by pressuring the cow foot. I did add it to my instant pot and I'm adding about a quarter of a cup of cas rib, not too much. And we'll add some hot water. We'll pressure this for about 45 minutes to an hour until it's halfway cooked. We don't want it cooked all the way through. We'll be finishing it off with the beef. We will be slow cooking our beef and we'll finish this off in there. Now, if you want to slow cook your 
cow foot or cow heel, you sure can. I just, I'm not in the mood today to wait five and six hours for this to cook. So I'll do it in my instant pot. So here in a separate pot, I will now add my beef and we want to brown the beef a little. So what we'll do is let the beef cook until it releases its juices. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Now we'll go ahead and sit the lid on here so that the beef can release the juices faster. Once it's covered, it will release the juices faster and then we can get to the next step. So after about 20 minutes, the beef has released all of its juices. And what we'll do next is leave it uncovered and let the juices evaporate. Once all of the liquid evaporates, this is how your beef should be looking with just a little oil left at the bottom of the pan. Now we will go in with our cow foot. We'll add it here. Then we'll add some hot water. You always want to add hot water because you don't want to mess with the cooking temperature. After we've added our water, we'll go in with our cas rip. You can add cas rip to your own liking. However, dark or light you like your pepper pot, you just add cas rip to suit, you know, how you, however you like it. Then we'll add our seasonings to add flavor and taste. You know, if you want to just use salt and black pepper, you can go ahead suit yourself do whatever you like every Guyanese make pepper pot different and this is my way you can either try it or you can go with the way that you know how so we will add our seasonings then we'll go in with our cloves our cinnamon sticks we'll add our hot peppers and our thyme we will also add our brown sugar and you know I thought I needed a bit more color here so I went in with some more cas rip and you want to cook this on low heat so that your liquid don't evaporate fast and you have to keep adding stuff adding more taste adding more cas rip adding more water you know if you cook it on high heat your liquid will evaporate faster and you will have to keep adding stuff which will mess with the way your pepper pot will taste and you don't want that. So two hours in, we are giving this a check. And I figure this is halfway through by now. You know, the meat is not quite where I want it to be. I like my meat falling off the bone, like practically melting in my mouth. So I let this go for another hour, hour and a half. But we will add some more time here. Because you know, I like a lot of time. And we will add some orange peel this is optional but it gives great flavor to the pepper pot and we will add another pepper we will cover and let this slow cook for about an hour so this is it guys after three hours in total well i would say four hours because the cow food took one hour and then our beef and the cow food added took another three hours so that's four hours and this is finally done but one more step we need to remove some of that oil so we'll use a piece of paper towel and we will place it inside of our pot and soak up that oil so this is a great way to remove that oil guys first i used to scoop it off with a spoon like scoop the oil away you know with a spoon but that's a lot of work and time consuming so I decided to try this method of placing the paper towels over and you know that paper towel as you can see right there it is soaking up all that oil and you want to do this as many times as you feel you need to do it until all that oil is gone. You can use another paper towel. I will use another one. I don't think I have too much oil here but I'll go a second time and that's it. So this is my version of a delicious Guyanese pepper pot. I will be enjoying this with some homemade plat bread. I will leave the link to this bread down in the description box for those that are interested. And I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up, 
share it leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button i will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video enjoy